everyone, this is S from Complete Balance again. Our clinic deals with wide ranges of conditions, but when the flu season hits, it isn't uncommon for us to have large influx of patients coming in with respiratory infections of different stages. So symptoms like sore throat, coughing, sputum production, uh, chest compression pain, body ache, these are all very common symptoms that we deal with. So the tissues that line our respiratory tract, they're very thin and delicate, and the deeper it goes into the alveoli, the thinner and more delicate they are, um, so that the oxygen exchange can occur. However, they're more prone to damages because of its delicacy. But our body has a mechanism in place to protect that. So for example, the constant production of mucus, um, the thin uh, fluid, that clear fluid that is produced, is uh, our body's way of catching any debris or microbes that are entering into our system. Also, the act of sneezing and coughing, this is a natural reflex that happens for us, our body to um, expel any debris that are entering into our system. So in a healthy individual, the mucus should be thin and clear. However, if an infection sets in, the um, inflammation from the infection causes heat to rise up and the mucus turns into very thick, sticky, uh, yellow um, sputum. Um, so if you're experiencing any chest um, congestion, it is because of the, the mucus, the phlegm that's lodged into our chest. And if, you're in, if there's an increase in coughing, it is our body's uh, um, natural way of trying to clear out the sputum. Because the longer it sits there, um, it gets more dangerous. Um, it dries up more and it clogs up the alveoli and the oxygen exchange cannot occur. In this video, I would like to share four different types of dowing we apply to patients who are suffering with uh, respiratory infection. Um, this uh, form of exercise will not only help to speed up your recovery, but will also help um, clear out the phlegm that's lodged in your, in your chest, and this will help to reduce coughing and chest congestion. The first dowing I would like to introduce is um, chest tapping. Uh, when, I'm, when I'm applying this at the clinic, um, People that are hearing it from outside of the room may think that I'm abusing the patients, but it actually just sounds way worse than what it feels like. Um, you can think of this as CPR for your lungs. So what you do is you take your right hand, um, turn it into like a cup shape, and you take it to the left corner of your chest, and you're going to smack it towards the middle. After you do about five sets of that, you take your opposite hand, your left hand, you take it to the right corner and then you do the same thing. If done correctly, um, you'll feel a little bit winded and um, it'll, it could also induce coughing, which is a good thing because right now you're trying to spit out the phlegm that's lodged into your chest. Another way to clear out the phlegm that's lodged into your chest is by increasing the oxygen flow um, throughout your lungs. Um, the next uh, breathing exercise is a very easy way to help increase the inhalation and exhalation of air. Um, so as you breathe in, uh, you're going to breathe in very slowly and as you're breathing, you're going to open up your arms and as you exhale, you're going to close your arms um, while breathing out slowly. After each set, you should rest a little bit because you may feel a little bit lightheaded uh, with all the um, oxygen flow rushing into your lungs. Okay, so follow after me. So you're going to breathe in and breathe out. Again, breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Um, the more you're able to apply this throughout the day, um, the better it will be to help restore your lung function and help to clear out the phlegm that's lodged into your chest. Lung infection isn't the only cause of excessive phlegm production in our chest. If you have inflammation in your digestive tract, that can also induce your lungs to create more phlegm. Um, the next uh, breathing exercise I'm going to teach you will not only bring down inflammation in your digestive tract to reduce the phlegm production, it also helps improve your metabolism. 
So for this breathing exercise, you're going to place your hand over your belly button. It's going to be a slow inhale of four counts. And as you exhale, you're going to push your hand against your stomach um, and your ab abdominal wall is going to push against your spine. Okay, so follow along with me, breathe in. And exhale. Again, breathe in. And exhale. Again, breathe in. And exhale. And between each set, it's best to rest because this will also cause a little bit of lightheadedness with all the blood flowing into your digestive tract away from your head. The last exercise I'm going to share with you is thymus tapping. This is a fist-sized gland that's located um, behind your sternum um, in the midline of your chest. Um, all you have to do is take your middle finger um, and just tap against it against this area. You can do this about 50 times twice a day, uh, once in the morning, once in the evening, and by just applying this tapping, you can help to boost your immune system. That's it. Those are the four Darwin exercises I want to share with you. Um, the exercises that I've shared are not only for those with respiratory infection, even for healthy individuals who just wants to uh, boost your immune system and improve your, your lung function. Um, this is a great way to um, help improve the chance of you fighting against infection. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions, um, do reach out to our clinic or uh, feel free to leave comments below. Thank you and have a great night.